Hello and welcome back! In the last video, we went through the production stage in OJS 3.3 and that included scheduling the submission to an issue that was already created in the journal. In this video, I want to show you how you can create that issue as well as manage any of other issues. Right now, I'm logged in as our editor and you can see that she's got a much more detailed dashboard with many submissions on the go the ability to see any unassigned, active, or archived submissions, and of course, all the settings on the left side navigation menu. The one that we want to look at is Issues. This page is divided into two tabs. We can start with the back issues first. These are issues that have already been created and published. We can see the publishing date, and the articles that make up the issue. If we use the expansion arrow, we can edit it and we can see what is in the table of contents, reorder it by clicking on the order button and then dragging and dropping sections and articles, moving to the issue data to change things like the date published, identification, description, and cover image, and see if there are any issue galleys or if we want to upload a new one. If we jump to our future issues, these are the issues that haven't been published yet. We can make a new one by clicking on the Create Issue button. Now we'll have to fill in this form with the information that is useful for a journal. If we don't use any of these identification options, we can just leave it blank and untick it from the list below. We can also add a description and a cover image, as well as setting an optional URL path for this issue. When we're happy with the changes, we can click on Save. Now you can see the issue that we just created on the list of future issues. To publish an issue, you can click on the expansion arrow and click on the Publish Issue. Doing this gives you the option to send an email about this to all registered users and you can confirm. Once the issue has been published, it will disappear from the Future Issues list and go to the Back Issues. If we have published it accidentally, we can always Click on the expansion arrow and unpublish the issue. We can also select it to be our current issue, view it, or delete it. And that's it. We have tried to make working with issues as simple as possible in OJS 3.3 and that you won't have any problems when it comes to managing back issues or creating new ones for the future. This concludes Module 10 and our course on the editorial workflow in OJS 3.3. Thank you very much for watching and learning with us. I'll see you again next time.